So when I started out on YouTube, I made it I made a few private rules to myself. Um, and one of those was I was never going to talk politics. I was never once going to talk about politics at all on uh, on my channel. But after what I saw yesterday, I I looked at myself and said if I don't talk about this, it would be a crime in and of itself. So for the first and only time, I am going to be talking about, you know, politics. I wouldn't even call it politics. This was straight up. This was straight up terrorism in the heart of our country. And I know, a guy with this kind of hair, wearing a fucking Deadpool shirt, and living in, in a room like this, his words don't really account for much, but damn it, our, we have a First Amendment for, you know, freedom of speech. And if these jack-offs can say, you know, America is being run by pedoph uh, pedophilic uh, Satanists, then I can damn well say, you're fucking stupid. Because... What happened is something you never thought, I never thought, you never thought, would happen in our country ever again. Because the thing of the, if the, the matter is, is that we just watched our country jump back a, over a hundred years. You know, we just watched our country slip back over a hundred years into it into what looked like a civil war and the image that got me the most was was one of of this man uh holding the confederate flag a flag by the way for those wondering, that's not the real Confederate flag. That was used at the tail end of the war um, by the on the Confederacy. It wasn't even the real official Confederate flag, by the way. It was a flag that was used by the end of the war um, and was also used to surrender to the Union. So, good on you for not learning your own fucking history, first off. So, But I saw this Confederate flag being waved. In the heart of this nation's, you know, capital. I watched it. I I watched as a legion of monsters, as, for lack of a better word, kick America in the balls because they were angry. The same people who would cry and moan about, uh, you know, who once said five years ago, you lost, get over it. But now... It seems like the crowd that said who who were like you lost get over it can't seem to uh, to realize they lost and can't get over it. And it's very evident now. It's very evident that you can never get over it. And I'm not going to name who's responsible cuz we all know who's responsible. We know exactly who is responsible for stoking those flames for 5 years who has fed into the, you know, the conspiracies and the QAnon and everything else. Who has fanned these flames because he didn't get his way. And now, you know, he and he tweeted, go home, we love you. Really? We love you for marching into the nation's capital and ransacking it, leading to someone's death, who I'm not going to shed a tear for because she tried to fucking kill someone. Same with the other people who were wounded or murdered. Those people, you know, I'm surprised the death count wasn't uh, wasn't higher because I ga damn well sh assure you that if this was anyone else, if this was anyone else, if you had, like, Black Lives Matter, if it was Black Lives Matter, um, they're protesting... And not rioting, you'd have heard today um, that over 150 uh, protesters were shot and killed. Because let's not forget, these p same people who were peacefully, peacefully protesting in front of the White House were tear-gassed and beaten savagely to near death 
so someone could take a photo with in front of a church with an upside down Bible. I want you all to think on that real quick. I want you all to really like think on that. Because I like I said, if this was anyone else, it is you've made yourself you've made this country look so laughably pathetic to everyone else around the world. It's not it wasn't hard. Wasn't hard to do that. But what happened yesterday just proved that, it, you know, once again, if it was anyone else. And it's funny, too, because these are the same people who want law and order. And I guess blue lives only matter when it's convenient to them. Because I'm pretty sure they tried to kill some cops up there. You know, the cops, they kept saying, oh, you know, they're doing their job and not all of them are all bad. And, you know, we, you know blue lives matter and all that. Really? It didn't seem like blue lives mattered yesterday. When you tried to murder several cops there and police officers there. It didn't seem to matter when you stormed the building and chased one person who was African American and she and shouting words that I will not repeat to him. But but why would they do this? Oh oh right, I know. Because someone who has who should never have been in power said do it. Someone who should have never been allowed in that office and only got in because of a very antiquated form of voting got him in. And he just couldn't accept that the people said no. The people said no more. And I could I have some words about the guy, the uh, his opponent who won, but at least he had the testicles to come on stage and go Fuck y'all. You're not American. You're terrorists. And that's... And I know, the same way that got you-know-who elected got it was the same way that got the new guy in. And while I have my problems with the new guy, I will at least give him the monochrome of, hey... You're at least saying the shit that needs to be said. You're acting like, I don't know, a leader of the free world. As opposed to the other guy who has done nothing but more, more or less make a cult just so he could sell merchandise. He already knows he lost. He knows damn well that he lost, but doesn't care so long as he gets to scorch the earth on his way out. And he gets to do what he always does, from his golf courses, to his hotels, to his fucking everything. He gets to cr smash it into the ground, because he didn't get his way. And that, and, and again, these people just ate it up. They just ate it up. And not only them, let's not even, let's also talk about the fact that, you know, several senators who knew better... Who knew damn well better, uh, not uh, you know to not follow him? But you wanted the votes. You wanted to stay in power, so you fed into those those lies. Everyone else who's there, you know, a certain turtle-looking motherfucker, his right-hand man, um, another guy who's clearly you know off being the Grand Wizard for some KKK party. And several people who got voted out today. That made me... And it's a cruel irony that on the same day that, you know, two people who deserve to be in the Senate knocked out the two people who don't, and this happens. Well, now, the tables are about to turn very hard, I imagine. The tables are about to turn very hard. Because here's the cold fact about... Um, Captain Orange. You don't even deserve to be called Captain. Um, Adolf Orange. The tables are about to turn very hard on you. And I'm sorry that th the only problem is I wish it was done sooner. We had a chance to stand, uh, you know, the, you know, people in power had a chance to stand up and get him out. But they decided, no, his fan base will get us more votes, so we'll stand by him. And, you know, instead of standing up for the democracy we claim to protect, we instead 
you know, we instead feed into those lies, those, you know, those conspiracy theories, you know, we get to spout law and order in, as long as it gets us votes. So, I don't want to hear, like, oh, you know, you know, Orange's right hand, Orange's vice, former, now former, soon to be former vice president said, oh, you know, democracy survived and all that. Where were you when he was making a giant wall and putting people in cages or having people tear gassed on the streets for an injustice? Where were any of you when he was feeding into a QAnon conspiracy theory? When he was spouting off racist, horrendous le uh, rhetoric that had not been heard since a rally in Madison Square Garden for a certain other monster several decades ago. That actually happened, and I'm sorry that happened. Um, yeah, you don't get to call the, you know, no one, none of them get to be called heroes now. Not after they aided and abetted for years. Aided and abetted this monster and let that monster, you know, fester uh, just a wound in this country. And it was clear as day that they clearly didn't know what they were signing up for until today. Actually, no, they knew exactly what they're signing up for. They just didn't they just didn't think, oh, you know, it won't be our problem. Guess what? It is. It is your problem. And that you just didn't think that problem would come out and bite you in the ass so soon. So none of them get off the hook. Not one of them get off the hook for aiding this monster, you know, not not one of them get to you know, say, oh, you know, we, we condemn the violence. You should have done it from day one. That's, that's what irritates me the most. You know, not one of them get to be called heroes. Not one of them get to be, con uh, you know, get their hands clean of this. As far as I'm concerned, the blood's on all your hands. And it's not just one party. The other party gets some blame, too. Because you only did the bare minimum. And when you failed at that, you said, oh, well, we tried. I'm sorry if this is upsetting to anyone. I really am sorry that this if this is upsetting to any of my usual viewers. But this I just couldn't stop thinking about it, you know. I all day I was like, "Well, that was weird. I best I I guess I'll go back to doing normal YouTube stuff." But I was like, "No. I can't. Not after what I saw yesterday." What happened? This, and the, oh, let's also talk about how, you know, um, their leader basically said, we're going to walk down together to Pennsylvania Avenue and we're going to go to the, uh, to the, uh, to the Capitol. Uh, where was he? Cause he sure as shit one with you. He was back at his home laughing at you. Your entertainment for him. That's all you are. You are just a product that he can sell merchandise to. You are nothing but fanning his inflamed, tiny dick energy. Because I'm pretty sure his wife don't like what, he, what she gets every night, if any. So, there, there is no way you can spin this to make it look good. Oh, it was, you know, we, there were insurgents inside this peaceful protest. No, there wasn't. This was just stupid assholes wanting nothing more than to destroy our country. That's all I saw yesterday. Fox News, by the way. Good job. You got your wish. Um, Hannity, Carlson, Ingram, you proud? You going home to jack off to the thought of, hey, I nearly destroyed democracy. Oh, that's so good. Yes, seek. Oh, can't say that word out loud. You got, there's no way you can spin this that's going to, uh, that makes anyone look good. And you have made a lot, you have officially put the final nail in the coffin to make us look weak to everybody around the world. Not just to our allies, who, fate, who I'm pretty sure 
face palmed hard watching this, but other countries, the our enemies, you know, our real enemies, and not our own democracy, who are pointing and laughing, going, "We could just do this now." So <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's I'm angry, and. I just didn't feel right not talking about this to get shit off my chest. Because we can't let this happen again. I don't want to see another day where my... Where, you know, where people, you know, where my country is attacked by its own people for just for the fact that their, their demagogue lost. Lost the election. That's, you know... I'm fine with protesting and getting angry about shit. But not when a dictator loses. That I'm not fine with that with a wannabe dictator who has said multiple times he would love to stay longer than two terms. Or, you know, is totally fine with tear gassing peaceful protesters and trying to have them locked up or have the military execute them on sight. I'm not okay with that. I'm okay when you want to get rid of some Crypt Keeper looking motherfuckers out of office and they don't want to go. I'm done. I'm, you know, I, uh, when this all started, I was like, I'm, I'm not okay with it, but I'm going to accept it. But as the years went on, I was like, I'm not gonna, you know, fuck this guy. I gave him a chance and fuck this guy. And I wish there were words stronger than "fuck this guy," but sadly, the uh, you know, the you know the uh, the dictionary can only go so far. So I don't. I have so much anger right now that I had to witness. You know, not only that, kids had to watch this. You had to sit down. I wonder how many of you who are parents who are watching this video are like sitting down right now and watching this video. And like, if you are a parent, did you have to sit down with your kids yesterday and explain to them, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry you had to watch that as our country tried to rip itself apart. Because now you have to grow up in that. You have to grow up in a world where now you are either you know, trying to save this democracy or trying to destroy it. You are now living in that world. So, I, I, like I said, I never wanted, when I made this channel, I never wanted to do, like, a, I never wanted to do anything about politics. I didn't want to bring them up. I didn't want to do anything. But yesterday made me go, no more. I'm, for, so for this one time, for this one time, I'm breaking that rule because what I saw was disgusting. And it broke my heart. Because not only have we just seen that, uh, clear as day, that uh, we just let a a gang of terrorists and racists and essentially monsters break into the heart of our country just so they could take selfies and break shit. But not only that, if this had been anyone else, we'd be hearing today how they all got murdered, or how they all got killed, or how they were, you know, thrown in prison. Or savagely beaten, and and then Fox News going, yes, law and order prevailed. Well, where's the, that law and order now, Fox? Because you sure as shit weren't talking about it. You were trying to, again, I've seen clips of, like, people saying, oh, it was clearly Antifa, you know, you know, in, you know, uh, infiltrating the mob. No. That was you. That was five years, maybe even longer, of just pure black, pure negative hatred. I was trying to use, like, uh, when I said black, I meant, like, just utter darkness of hatred. Just utter 
blackness, hatred. That was just pure evil. There's the better word. Why didn't I start out without... That was pure evil. What I saw on that, uh, you know, that was pure evil. What I saw on that... On that... On those screens last night. And if you want to explain to me how that was good, get the fuck out. Because I ain't arguing with you. Because it's very clear what side you're on here. Anyway, I'm fucking done.